raising your child because you are not a good example for him. Also, we should not scare the children. This is a bad manner. It's not a good manner to always scare them to death. This is wrong because this is going to create something psychologic complex which is going to affect the personality of the child. For instance, and this is, it varies maybe from one culture to another culture, some mothers, if she wants to discipline the child, she says, the monster will eat you. Or she will put the child and lock the child in a dark room, and the child will be screaming. And you don't know what you are doing to the child. And this will carry on. It will be printed in his subconscious, and this is going to harm him later on. So we should, that is also unacceptable and that is the wrong technique of bringing up the children in the right manner also we accept in Islam we accept the testimony of children and before we elaborate on this that the Sahaba they were bringing up their children and teach them to be brave to be courageous etc Abdullah bin Zubair is an example one day Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu, he passed by and the children, the children when they saw him, when they saw Umar, they ran away. Except Abdullah ibn Zubair remained. So Umar told him, why didn't you run along with your friends? He said, why should I? The road is so vast, so big. That's first thing. The second thing, I didn't do anything wrong. So you build, that's how you build the, and strengthen the personality of the child. Discipline. Children should not be pampered because that if we pamper the child, we spoil the child. That is not love. You should know how to bring up your child because tomorrow he's going to be a man. So you should teach him how to depend on himself. So a child needs to be disciplined. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said that you should keep the whip or the stick at the wall there you you hang the the stick you put it on the wall so every child sees it there is something there is a punishment there is penalty so that is very essential and very important and in the hadith the prophet وسلم, he said muru awladakum bis salah wa hum awladu sab' wadrubuhum alayha wa hum abna'u ashr wa farriqu baynahum fil madaja this beautiful hadith commands your children to pray when they reach the age of seven and beat them or smack them or strike them when they reach the age of ten and then separate them. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is telling us this is what we should do. But if you are living in the West, you cannot do this. You cannot smack your child. You cannot discipline your child. And if you do that, you will lose your child. And maybe the child will call the police and the police will come and take your child away. But children, they have to be disciplined. And also we need to differentiate in the upbringing of male and female. You should not treat them the same. You should not treat the upbringing of your boy like a girl. Everyone has, there is, should be a special, unique way. Prophet Muhammad used to tell one of the children, Oh father, a child, oh father of so and so. So you have to keep differentiating in the upbringing of children, a boy is a boy, a girl and a girl. Why? Because everyone should have an independent personality. The personality of the girl is not like the personality of the boy. So we have to take this into consideration. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is our example. He says to the brother of Anas, Ya Aba Umair, ma fa'ala nughair? And he was a child. Oh, father of Umair, what happened to your little bird that died? So he was giving the kunya to the child. May Allah Azza wa Jal help us to bring up our children. May Allah preserve your children, protect them, and may Allah reward all the parents for their strife and struggle. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.